Hello from Slidenerd and hello from Weaves. What's up folks? In this vid, I'm going to talk about how to save your activity state. So there are two methods on save instant state and on restore instant state in addition to the other lifecycle methods that you guys have already seen. Now if you guys haven't seen the video on the activity lifecycle, you guys should go ahead and check it out on my playlist because this video is one step above what we have already discussed. So that being said, first let me guys show you what state is all about you have a simple app over here that is having an edit text you're typing something like omfgi but suddenly you rotate the screen and take a look what happens that text is gone that information is not saved so how will your user feel or how will you feel as a user you will get frustrated you will probably delete the app right so let me go ahead and show you the definition of edit text over here this is the xml layout of edit text it's a wrap content weird weight EMS or whatever. Don't worry if you don't know how the edit text looks and works. We will talk about these controls in detail later. But for now, what I want you guys to understand is this. Again, you have the same app, landscape mode, OMFGI. And as you rotate the device, this time the information is stored. How did that happen? So this here, if you see, I have given an Android ID at the rate ID slash text. Now, whenever I give an ID to a control in Android, it automatically saves its information when the activity is destroyed and created back all right that being said let me actually jump to eclipse and show you a demo of what is happening so here i am in my android developer tools all right i have a sample app installed on my emulator it's called state test i'm not i don't you don't need to worry about the code of this app what i want you guys to see is what happens when i run this app now this app is going to print some messages on the lock cat screen over here all right it is basically the life cycle of an activity but there are two additional methods so just take a look what happens if i click state test and start it as you see on create on start on resume is called quickly all right so now if i block this activity by calling show activity dialog over here Yes, you can see the dialogue has come over here and there is something over here on pause is called and take a look it says on save instance state was called all right again if i close this on resume is called right then if i go to my home screen if you guys remember on pause and on stop are gonna be called and again take a look on save instance state is called all right so again if i go back into my apps section inside here and i start my state test as you see on restart on start and on resume are called so what I want you guys to understand is this whenever your activity is paused Android calls a method called on save instant state now this method can be used by you to save some information all right now there are two types of information one that can be stored to a database two that you need temporarily while your app is running the database information is not supposed to be stored here all right whatever temporary information you have like you have some variables you may have some values those things which you need to store to make sure that the user doesn't feel a pinch when the activity is destroyed and created back you can save them inside this method on save instant state remember the android operating system calls this method after your activity has been paused all right so that being said let me actually go here rotate my uh, app from portrait to landscape mode and show you guys what happens if you guys remember the life cycle of an activity whenever we rotate the device it is going to get destroyed right the activity is going to get destroyed and it's going to be created back so let me say control f11 and rotate the device so here if you notice the first thing on pause is called this information is saved but take a look here the activity is destroyed at destroying your activity and then again on create on start and take a look on restore instance state was called now whatever values you saved inside this method on save instance state you can get those values here inside on restore instance state so that means this method is called after your activity has been destroyed and is created back again and that way you can obtain some information back right so this is the best way you can avoid uh, but, uh, issues being what you call avoid data being lost all right but there is one thing you guys need to remember again if i go ahead and i say show activity dialog your on pause will be called then your information will be saved inside this on save instance state if i close this that is going to be normal right if i rotate my orientation by saying control f11 remember first information will be saved inside this then on restore instance state will be called inside which you can have your values back right there is one small exception to this and that is your back button take a look if you press your back button over here you're just destroying your activity because back was pressed when you press your back button 
Android calls finish method on your activity and that means it assumes that your activity is no longer needed by the user so that in that case you cannot restore your information back all right so i believe you guys understood something about this on save instance state and on restore instance state in the next video i'm actually going to talk about the details of these methods and how you should save values and how you can get your values back so for now what you guys need to remember is only two things whenever you have to save some information use that on save instance state method and whenever you want to get some information back after the activity has been destroyed use your on restore instance state so if you guys like what you saw please subscribe to my channel comment let me know what you think about this thanks for watching i'll catch you guys later have a nice day